So, while we were out here checking the moss today, we also discovered something climbed this tree. Probably not recently, um, but right here, like step, step, like something gripped there and there, and then uh, this here's pulled off of there. So one, two, three, Bit more here, so four, five, six. Oh, some there. Oh, don't see anything farther up. But yeah, it's like something, something large. You know, large went up the tree. Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. It's not necessarily really old. Cool. April 25th, 3.15 a.m. At approximately 1.30 a.m. I turned off the light to go to sleep. Not more than a minute later I heard someone walking down the creek, footsteps splashing, and a deep grumble as they went by the window. Then quiet. Then it sounds like voices, but I can't make it out. A few minutes later, I heard a whoop. Not close, but definitely a whoop. A few more minutes go by, and it sounds like someone is right out the window. Next, my stomach starts to get upset and gradually becomes worse until I was quite nauseous. Then it just stopped. It lasted a total of about five minutes. I'm all good now. This is the second time in a couple of weeks that this has happened, although the last time I only heard the walking in the crick and the upset stomach and nausea passed quickly, lasting no more than a minute. I'm still hearing some splashing and muted voices. I've said hello and wished them a good night. Now I'm going to sleep. Okay, we're out here having a look around the creek this morning. And first thing that I spotted, this was here when it came out to... Oh, oh, put your foot in the middle of it, Code. <laughs> okay, so you can see where all this is pushed up. Right here, and it almost looks like a toe. All this is just pushed up. Another something right here. So yeah, so that's just right beside the bridge and that's fresh from this morning or middle of the night. And then looking over here, there's some of the bridge. There's, I don't know what that's from, but there's some disturbances here. This, this is flipped back. And there's a piece here, flipped over. And this is kicked up. This almost looks like a, a foot slid in and then flipped it. And that's like something came out of the creek from here. April 26th. I spent the afternoon in the yard tidying up the winter debris. It was a little breezy, so when I heard an intermittent squeal from the woods across the road, I chalked it up to trees rubbing. Then, from the area where the creek comes from, an owl call started. A few minutes later, a solid whoop from the woods from the other dire direction down the road. I don't hear whoops here in Greenwater very often, practically never, and this is twice in a couple of days. After about ten minutes, the squeaky tree and the owl went quiet. A couple of times, the owl and the squeak started up again. I noticed they would start a moment or two before someone came or went up the trail, and then quiet again. At one point, I heard a bit of a commotion on the creek, and I looked that direction, and I saw a burst of white light. Everything was quiet after that. April 28th, 2.50 p.m. Made a video of sticks in a glyph by the porch. April 28th, 2.55 p.m. Discovered an upright maple leaf stem planted in the compact gravel of the freshly raked driveway. Hey everybody, we're having a beautiful day here and I have been on the other side of the cabin raking 
cleaning up. Uh, went inside to take about a 10 minute break and I come out and got these sticks here. <laughs> so these weren't here when I went in 20 minutes ago. So I think those are interesting. Also yesterday, I noticed uh, these here. I don't know exactly what that means, but um, yeah, I think that that's interesting. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so you're not gonna believe what I just found. I got glyphs there that I found yesterday. This just appeared when I was inside. I paused when I came out to take pictures, make a little video. So I come back out here to where I'm raking up stuff and uh, finish my little break, come back out. You can see where I'm raking here. And uh, where'd it go? Oh, right here, look at that. It's a maple stem stuck in the ground. How's that for cool? Holy <laughs> be doggone. Something you don't see every day. Okay, so while I was making a video of this, um, taking pictures, maple stem, Goldie was over here and brought my attention to this maple stem. You can see where she was pawing at it here. Look at that. It's another maple stem stuck in the ground. Look at that. I don't see any others. But she actually came over here and pointed it out to me. I mean, that's, does it have a smell? Did she see that I was paying attention to that one and went, oh, here's the same thing? Are you that on the ball, miss? Are you? Could be, yeah. <laughs> April 30th, 9 p.m. I just got home, went into the cabin, and noticed Goldie was agitated. She wanted back outside. Did she want to play? No, she wanted to point something out to me that I hadn't noticed on the way in. I have three round rocks that live on the bench on the porch, and they are now on the ground along with the bird's nest. But the other rock is still in its spot, and the ball flinger is still sitting there. Nothing else on the porch is disturbed. Those rocks have been there for over a year and a half, and they have never been moved before. April 30th, 9.30. Upon closer inspection, I find a small stick stuck in the ground a few inches from the round rocks. I added a feather. Okay, so I just came out to take a closer look. And these three sticks... I always keep them here on this bird's nest, thinking, you know, if anybody wanted to play with them or rearrange them, and, and nobody ever has. They, they've never changed. But the sticks were on the ground over here. The bird's nest is on the ground over here. We've got these. This rock, completely undisturbed right there where it always is. The round rocks are usually right here. So I'm looking at the rocks. And I see this. I don't know how long that's been there, but I pulled it out and it appears to have been in there long enough to grow a little bit of fungus or mold or something on there. Get it to focus. So, uh, yeah. Wow. May 1st, 12 noon. After a daylight inspection of the flower bed where the round rocks and the upright stick had been placed, an interesting mark was found. Maybe a handprint? Maybe a knee print? So, taking a look at this during the day, the feather I put out is still there. The stick is still there. Balls haven't been moved, but I'm, I'm kind of looking at this. It's very scooped, very smooth, you know, about so wide, so long. I'm wondering, is that like a knee print? Let's see if I can 
get an angle here to give you an idea of the, the way this is shaped there. Is that a knee? Also, Goldie's ball is gone. <laughs> We're looking for her ball. <laughs> Where is it? Did they take your ball, miss? <laughs> May 4th, 4.30 p.m. I stepped out onto the porch and caught a quick look at something slightly smaller than Goldie, so I'm estimating around 50 pounds, black and boxy shaped. It moved fast, crawling out of the river and up the steep far bank in a squiggly kind of way. My first thought was otter. I've seen otters on the far bank over there before, and I could clearly tell they were otters. Otters go in and out of the water, and this just went up and never came back down. I watched for 20 minutes and never saw it again. Also, otters squiggle up and down. This squig squiggled side by side, like an alligator. Otters are long and tapered with a tail. This was boxy shaped and I didn't notice a tail. We, we got some activity going on, no doubt. There's, I just went in, I've been working over here. This piece of wood has been sitting here flat on the table. So there's still a wet spot. It was sitting there when we went in. I come out and here it is. It's moved. Still wet. What do you think, miss? Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> May 6th, 9 a.m. On Wednesday, I had added a robin feather beside the blue one. Unfortunately, I never took a picture of both feathers. Both were still there last night. Both are gone this morning. <laughs>